The S&P 500 now down 27.18. And every day at this time, OBMMI, they provide the most comprehensive, accurate, and timely analysis, interactive analysis of pricing ever conducted in the mortgage industry calculated from actual locked rates with consumers across 35% of all mortgage transactions nationwide. What did the rates do on Friday? 30-year conforming loan up a little bit at 6.151. The 30-year jumbo down a little bit at 6.062. The 30-year FHA up a little bit at 6.201. 30-year USDA was up a little bit at 6.072. That's generally no down payment in the rural neighborhoods. And the best loan on the market was up just a little bit. That's the VA loan, 5.93. That's for the veterans. You got to earn it. That's one that you cannot just want. You can't want that one. Some people want it. You can't just want it. You have to earn that one. And if you haven't taken advantage of it yet, don't forget that our friends at Geneva have this down payment assistance program, 100% financing, FICO scores as low as 600, single family residences, condos, townhomes, PUD, duplexes, and manufactured double, uh, double wide. Got to qualify, obviously, like every loan nowadays, but great program over at Geneva for those folks that don't have the money for a down payment, but want to get into the game. But hey, let's take a look and see why the rates are doing what they're doing. The 10-year treasury's up three basis points, 3.55. The mortgage-backed securities are down 19 basis points, which means interest rates are up ever so slightly. And the big issue right here is both of those are getting closer and closer to hitting these very, very strong levels of support. So we're watching all of that very closely for you. The Federal Reserve is going to be meeting. They start tomorrow with their meeting. They'll come out with the results of the meeting on Wednesday. We anticipate a 25 basis point rate hike. That means that you're going to start, you'll see interest rates increase on the uh, home equity lines of credit on your 10-year treasuries. Those are all things that'll, generally they follow the Fed funds rate. Prime rate, I'm sure, not, home, not, on, not on the 10-year treasuries, but on the uh, prime rate. Prime rate follows the Fed funds rate and the home equity lines of credit generally follow the prime rate. Now, mortgage-backed securities, they do not necessarily follow the Fed funds rate. In fact, in many instances, especially as we get closer and closer to the end of a recession, which we haven't even announced that we're in yet, but when we get closer and closer to the end, we'll start to see a divergence between the Fed funds rate and the the mortgage-backed securities. We might even see a collapse of the spread between the 10-year treasury and the mortgage-backed securities. We've been watching that one. But every indicator we have shows that we're going to get into a recession. We're watching every one of them. So this week, we're going to get new application readings for November. We're going to get the Case-Shiller Home Price Index. One that I like best is the FHFA Home Price Index because that actually is talking about conforming loan rates. It doesn't have as much influence based on the mix of what properties are being listed. And we've got a lot of reporting because Wednesday, we've got the ADP Jobs Report. That's a biggie. I like that one the best because it actually looks at 25 million households. But the markets like to watch what happens on Friday with the BLS jobs report and the household survey. So we're going to also watch, again, like like I said, the central banks, the Fed hikes 25 basis point on Wednesday, we believe, to a range of 3.5 to 3.75. Will they have reached their limit? Well, we're going to find out if they're at the top right there or are they going to continue increasing in 25 basis point hikes. Maybe they'll tell us. We'll see. Other central banks are set to hike this week with the European Central Bank and the Bank of England expected to hike 50 basis points each, but it's less likely they'll have reached their limit as they are behind the U.S. and started tightening well after we began. While the 25 basis point hike on Wednesday is almost a sure thing, Powell's comments will be key for the markets. It's likely he will continue to talk tough, especially with the jobs market seemingly strong. And obviously, we know that the jobs market is doing really, really well. I know a lot of people that have two jobs so that they can try and survive through some of these markets. I just throw that out there for you. That is the Mortgage Minute brought to you by our friends at Geneva Financial. When you're ready for that next home loan, Geneva, they've got programs and products. You just need to make the call 800 
800-306-1990. 800-306-1990.